I think I'm big meat. Huh? Larry Hoover. What the hell does that even mean? It means that he could bypass or, or, or get by the uh, 10 pound rehydration limit. And we know that Devin Haney, what he's notorious for, they call him Devin American Dream Haney. Yeah. You know, he's also Devin. I'm a find a way Haney. Yeah. Devin weight bully Haney. Yeah. Devin, I'm a bend a corner Haney. Yeah. Devin, I'm a find a loophole Haney. You know what I'm saying? And you know, that, that, that's what Smoochie says. She says, Devin Haney go find a way. And, and if he finds a way to add some more weight. Oh man, this, this changed this changes the fight significantly. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise. You gotta get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So, you know, those of you that have been paying attention to the boxer world and the landscape and the channel, you know what I'm saying? We've been, we announced that, it, even though it's unofficial, we have announced that it's reported that Devin Haney may make a comeback fight, have a comeback fight, and it's gonna be against none other than Australia's only Amparo. I'm telling you, man, I, hey, that, there must be some in Australia, some in the water. Because she's a thirsty girl and she thinks you're a tall glass of water. Can't say I follow that that Devin Haney love because I, I think at this point he need to get dual citizenship or make they need to make him an honor, honorary uh, uh, Aussie or something because he he loves Australia you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about but I do think this is a very difficult fight man I think it's a tough fight for it to be a bounce back fight or a rebound fight I think because I think Liam Parr was a, a tough fight regardless you know what I'm saying anyway you cut it or slice it so I don't advise this fight for it to be a rebound fight but other than that man I love it because if because Liam Parr is definitely a beast you know Liam Parr he he just uh, dethroned Subaru Matias who's considered the boogeyman at the 140 pound division and he, he did it in uh matias's backyard home to, homeland of uh puerto rico right so uh big salute to him and this is a, this will be a hell of a fight a hell of a challenge and if he wins i don't want to hear anybody say anything because that that's that's a great win right there man but you know um shout out to my shout, shout out to my girl smoochie in the chat man when i first announced this she said oh <laughs> She said, this is going to be a tough fight. I said, yeah, but, you know, um, Devin Haney might have found him a way to come in and have a little advantage, you know, because he has declared that he is called the champion of recess. And while I would favor Liam Paro right now, if they fought today, I would favor Liam Paro and he is the IBF champion. You know, they have a 10 pound rehydration clause that they implement. However, um, th they might be able to bypass that because Devin Haney is still considered the champion of recess for the WBC so if they fight it will be considered a unification match it could be considered a unification match what does that mean it means that he could bypass or, or, or get by the uh, 10 pound rehydration limit and we know that Devin Haney what he's notorious for they call him Devin American Dream Haney you know he's also Devin I'm a find a way Haney, Devin weight bully Haney, Devin I'm a bend a corner Haney, Devin I'm a find a loophole Haney, you know what I'm saying? And you know that, that's that's what Smoochie says. She said Devin Haney go find a way, and and if he finds a way to add some more weight. Oh man, this this changed this changes the fight significantly because you Dev, Dev, Devin Haney, uh, aka I'm a fight you at 140 and come in as a super middleweight Haney. You know what I'm talking about as Regis Progre. Um, <laughs> but all jokes aside, man, Devin is a consummate professional. Devin always makes weight, you know, and it's up to the teams to 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 um to negotiate uh, uh, that in the contract. You know what I'm saying? So Liam Paul, this is a warning. Step your step, step your contract game up. Step your negotiation game up because Devin Haney gonna come in as, as, as two of you. You know what I'm talking about? So you be, <laughs> so just just lock it and be aware of that because I don't think that's a sufficient excuse as to why you lose because you know you're supposed to put that in the contract if, if, if you don't want somebody to do that to you because Devin Haney abides by all the rules he just finds uh, uh, circumstances that 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 elite, um, that that are advantageous for him so you got to be you know once you in that ring and once you uh, once you agree to terms and there's no excuses you know he's not like Ryan Garcia and cheating and having banned substances we do not let people who are on the juice discuss real athletes that's all He's just he's just using the rules to his advantage. There's nothing wrong about that, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, I do think this significantly changes the outcome of this fight, and you got to reconsider some things. But if if it's under normal circumstances and that 10 pound rehydration limit is implemented, then I, then I lean towards Liam Paro. Now, if he could blow up, I'm not sure how much Liam Bar Liam Paro, how much weight he could put on himself, or how much weight he. He, he traditionally does put on I'm not sure um, I know he's a smaller guy than Devin Haney um, so I think that does change it significantly but I would still lean towards Liam Paro um, 
in a very contentious fight, man. But but yeah, I think I'm not because I lean towards Liam Paul. Don't think that I'm saying he has no chance. No, Devin Haney definitely has a chance, man. He's the youngest undisputed champion in the four belt era, and he, he and he's a former champion. And Liam Paul is a new champion. You know what I'm saying so. I think it's a great fight, regardless. Y'all, let me know who y'all think wins. Me for me and myself, I'm going with Liam Paul. Um, and if he could find a way around the 10 pound rehydration limit, the loophole, I'm still going to lean towards Liam Paul. But I think that 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 may sway me a little bit the more I think about it, man. But y'all, let me know what y'all think about it. Do you think that they should have the IBF rules or do you think this 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 loophole should be allowed or do you do you like uh do you even approve of people being weight bullies like uh David David Benavidez or 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 uh, Virgil Ortiz who habitually misses weight but he does it he, he misses weight and he gets penalized but Devin Haney you know he's a weight bully too but he he definitely makes weight first so I don't think that's cheating at all man it's just using the rules to your advantage don't hate the player hate the game what y'all think about that who y'all got Liam Power or Devin Haney man y'all let me know in the comments I appreciate y'all rocking with me as always remember with God we can do anything without God or nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.